Well, there it is. It finally happened. We're actually going to get a remake of Paper Mario The 10,000 Year Door. It came as quite a surprise, as this series hasn't received any remakes beforehand, and you'd think they'd start with the Paper Mario 64, but oh well. Nevertheless, this is great news for Paper Mario fans as we will get to re-experience one of the best games that was released on the GameCube. It does make you wonder, what changes should we expect from this remake? I'm Danny, and today we're going to explore the possible changes and improvements Nintendo could add to this remake of a fan favorite. But first, we should ask, are they even going to make any changes? It's hard to know at this point yet, as we just got the reveal trailer. But I have one reason to believe there will be, and that's Super Mario RPG. In that same Direct, we saw that the Mario RPG remake was getting a couple of new features, such as AoE attacks when perfectly nailing the timing of action commands, the addition of triple moves, and post-game boss rematches. This, at the very least, gives me hope that this TTYD remake will also receive some new features. But what could those be, huh? Are you curious? There are, of course, some obvious ones like new badges, be it for attack, defense, or cosmetics. Perhaps there could be badges that change the plumber's outfit to look like Fire Mario, or one of the outfits from Odyssey. There could be new items, referencing some of the games that have come out since TTYD. New recipes for Zest Tea to cook? New NPCs in the overworld? New minigames? New side quests? but I think we can take things a step further. Perhaps our partners are going to be able to level up further, giving them access to a new ability. Heck, maybe we could even get a new partner. There could be post-game boss rematches, maybe even new bosses. How about another dungeon like the Pit of 100 Trials? A hard mode would also be welcome. Or fast travel to cut on the backtracking. Maybe some new paper abilities? Maybe even the plot could change, making us explore some new locations. Maybe make us meet the four heroes that sealed the Shadow Queen. Could we perhaps even get more lore about her or the x knots There are so many possibilities. Now, do we believe that they're going to add all of this to the game? No, of course not. However, it is still fun to speculate about because there's so much potential there. Nevertheless, it is great to see this remake happening. If this remake sells well, maybe this will force Nintendo to make more Paper Mario games in the style of the first entries, showing that there is a demand for that kind of game. Anyway, this is just our thoughts on the matter. What do you think? What changes do you think they're going to implement, and what would you like to see? Let us know in the comments down below. This is Danny from Game Domain, and I hope to see you in the next video.